And now for today's Bible question. Today we've been learning about the birth of Jesus our Savior and the events surrounding his birth. We learned about how the humble, obedient spirit of Joseph and Mary made them ideal candidates for raising God's precious and unique Son. We also saw how the shepherds were overjoyed at the news of a Savior come into the world, and how Simeon and Anna were able to recognize the baby Jesus as God's Redeemer. Someone might ask the question, why do some people recognize Jesus as God's unique Son, while others do not? In our lesson today, we saw how Simeon and Anna were immediately able to identify the baby Jesus as God's Redeemer for Israel and as a Savior for the world. The shepherds also recognized Jesus as a Savior because they believed the message delivered to them by the angel. Mary and Joseph also were believers who accepted God's plan for them. They may not have fully understood the greatness of their son, yet they were obedient to fulfill all that God had told them in the law and pondered and wondered at the things spoken about their son sent from God. These few people had some glimpse of God's great plan of redemption through Jesus Christ, and even if they did not see everything clearly, yet they believed. Simeon and Anna, in particular, were directed by the Holy Spirit to recognize Jesus as the Savior and to prophesy concerning his rejection and Mary's sorrow. The reason that some can recognize Jesus while others do not has to do with the revelation of God through the Holy Spirit. When a person is seeking God with all their heart, as with Anna the prophetess, then God is pleased to make known his revelation to them. Also Simeon was a just and devout Jew, and this also qualified him to receive a revelation from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit does try to communicate with all of us, but some people are much more disposed to hear and respond to the Holy Spirit because of their godly conduct and their faith. We also learned that Simeon was a man eagerly waiting for the redemption of Israel. Because his heart was devoted to God, God rewarded him with the revelation of the Redeemer by the Holy Spirit. Many people today do not know Jesus because they do not care to know Jesus. They do not find it important to learn about God's Messiah or the salvation that comes through him. Some people like religion that suits their lifestyle, which is all about serving self and enjoying their time here in this world. Such people are not prone to hearing God's voice through the Word of God because they live according to their flesh and not according to the Spirit. God is very glad to speak to us and open our hearts if that is what we truly want. Unfortunately, the sad fact is that many are just not prepared to humbly seek after God's revelation. Many also do not wish to make the effort to listen to the Word of God by taking their time to read the Bible carefully and constantly. If we do not pay attention to the Bible, and we are only interested in looking after our comfort and pleasure in this world, then we will find it difficult to learn about Jesus or receive God's revelation about him. We might gain a general human knowledge, but we shall not truly understand and believe who Jesus is unless the Holy Spirit convicts us and we come to Jesus in faith and obedience. As Jesus began his public ministry, there were some who accepted him as God's Messiah, believed and followed him. These were few among the many others who rejected and despised Jesus. It was the religious people who especially were hostile toward Jesus, because they could not believe that he was God's Son. Their pride, their envy, and their love for the comfort and pleasure of this world caused them to reject God's Son. I hope that everyone listening today will recognize through the help of the Holy Spirit who Jesus really is and embrace Him by faith as their Savior and Lord. 
If you have never come to the point in your life where you know you need Jesus in order to be saved from God's judgment against your sin, then why not make today the day when you place your trust in Jesus to save you? You could be like those shepherds who long ago went their way rejoicing because they had found the Savior. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. John chapter 20 verse 31